Hello everyone, this is Zach with Obedia. Welcome to our first video in the Getting Started with Pro Tools series. This will be a multi-part series exploring many features of one of the most popular digital audio workstations, Pro Tools. In this video we will explore session setup and preferences, edit slash user functions and options, I.O. setup, and track creation and organization. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and open up Pro Tools here. And we're going to create a new session. The way we do that is Command N. And that's going to bring up this new session dialog box. And in this case, we're going to start with a blank session so we can get to some of the preferences and the I.O. options. And then we'll add tracks here in a little bit. So just to cover some of the stuff in this window, um, we're going to create a blank session. You can eventually create templates and start from a template if you wish. Um, the other options here, we have uh, BWF or WAVE or AIFF. Most of the time you're going to want to stay with WAVE unless there uh, is a good reason not to, unless there's a good reason to go to AIFF. Uh, as far as bit depth, uh, you can go to 32-bit float. That is kind of a, a newer thing for Pro Tools, but most of the time we're going to stay at 24-bit. Rarely would we want to go down to 16-bit. Uh, 24 is going to be the standard for most uh, cases nowadays. Uh, in the future, perhaps we'll go up to 32-bit, but right now we're going to stay at, at 24. Um, as far as sample rate is concerned, we get a lot of questions about sample rate. Uh, a lot of people want to go to the highest sample rate possible, uh, claiming that there's a, a big difference in fidelity. Uh, the CD quality sample rate is 44 1 kilohertz. And most of the time, for most practical applications, we're going to stay at 44.1 or 48. Uh, if you have audio for video, perhaps you would go higher than that. Or if you were doing something uh, like classical recording or something that was a little bit more high-end, you could go to 96. The catch with this is, is that this is how many times per second that your audio interface samples the audio that's coming in or the audio that's going out. So really what this means is 44.1 versus 88.2. 88.2 is double 44.1, which means it's going to take twice the power in your computer system to play back that session and to mix and edit that session. So as you go higher here on sample rate, you're also really taxing your computer. You're also increasing file size for your sessions. So you may want to kind of proceed with caution if you go higher than 44.1. Most of the time we want to stay at 44 or 48. In this case, we're going to stay with 44.1. And then the only other two things in this window uh, are the interleaved buttons uh, and then the I.O. settings. Interleaved is going to be any stereo files that uh, have, let's say, a left and a right, let's say like an overhead or some type of uh, track that you bring in, a stereo loop or something. In this session, if you want it to be created, if you want that stereo file to be stored as one stereo file, just one file, then we want to click interleaved. If you want it to be stored as two separate mono files, for instance, a left and a right, and you want those files to be separate, then you may want to leave that unchecked. Most of the time we're going to leave that checked unless there's a good reason not to. Uh, if any of that's unclear, we'll go back over that as we move forward here. Uh, as far as I.O. settings, uh, this is all about, you know, what interface that you have. Last used is, like it says, the last one that was used. Who knows what that is? Uh, the last one that you used may have been correct. It may have been incorrect. Stereo mix is kind of the default uh, that Pro Tools comes with, and we will talk about the specific I.O. settings here in a minute. Uh, if you are confused with this or if you're not sure, you can just go to Stereo Mix and hopefully that will take care of some things for you. Uh, but I'll, we'll, we'll look at how to tweak it to get the exact uh, I.O. settings that you want. So now that we've got this window taken care of, let's go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to save uh, our session here. So we're going to save it in this Getting Started in Pro Tools um, folder and we're going to say Session 1. And then once we get in here, we've got our blank session. So I'm going to jump in here and set up Pro Tools uh, the way that I like to set it up and the way that a lot of studios use Pro Tools. Uh, just check some of the, the popular preferences and that kind of stuff. So that way Pro Tools functions as we want it to. So I'm going to jump in here by going up here to Pro Tools and clicking Preferences. 
And I'm kind of going to go tab by tab here, just checking on some of the popular preferences. Your window may look different. Uh, there may be some other things checked or unchecked. So you may want to go through here and uh, kind of study what these preferences do. I'm just going to kind of briefly go over some of the more important ones or the, the ones that will be more helpful. Uh, so one thing that I'm going to do in this display tab here is I'm going to organize plug-in menus by category and manufacturer. What that's going to do is that's going to allow me, when I have a plug-in, to choose the plug-in based on who made it, whether it's Avid or DigiDesign or uh, Isotope, etc., which, which would be the manufacturer or category, uh, which would be something like Reverb or Dynamics or EQ, so on and so forth. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.